Well, I wanted to bring you a video of our newest trucks we have. We uh, have gotten some of these uh, 2015 uh, Freightliner Cascadias that we bought, and these were actually Walmart trucks. And they, they, the reason we have them is because of the fact that they've got all the technology that we're going to be required with FedEx to, to get. Now, they seem to be pretty good trucks. They, of course, like everything else, they have got about 400 on them, 400,000. But the one thing that we do have is, is if you'll notice down here, there is the, the uh, forward collision mitigation, or FCAM. It's what FedEx is requiring on everything. It is a radar system that makes sure that it can stop the truck if somebody gets in front of you and slams on brakes and different things like that. But these are the trucks. We bought six of them. And we're going to be putting those on as soon as possible. We, we have this one up and lettered and ready to go. And, and they're pretty nice units. We got these, of course, as you can see right there, we got them from Select Trucks down in Charlotte. And they uh, were able to work a pretty good deal for us. Thought I'd show you the inside of them. <clears throat> of what we've got. Of course, there's our logging device. There's our e-logs. And then up here is our camera system that we have to have in every, every truck. The camera system makes sure that we can see uh, forward and backwards. It, can, it watches the driver and everything that goes in front of him. That, and the purpose of that doing is uh, to make sure that the driver is not falling asleep or or that he's not talking on the phone or anything that he's not supposed to be doing and it, it causes an accident. So, uh, you know, it, it's actually a good thing. I've had it to work in our favor a couple of times. A lot of drivers don't like them, but actually they can be their best friend. If you're doing your job right, it will show exactly what you did if you're involved in an accident. So sometimes it can be a, a, a very good thing. Now, of course, if you're doing something bad, it's a bad thing. But if you're doing your job and doing it right, because there's a lot of times guys have, have been able to, to, you know, get upset with that fact. Well, let me get in here and I'll show you a little bit more about the truck. It's a pretty nice unit. It's uh, double bunk, as you can see. And it also has a refrigerator. We have the refrigerator and it's got, of course, it has the uh, uh, unit. So if, if we were to have to stay in it, uh, you know, we wouldn't have to run the truck. Uh, but we don't, we don't actually do that. We, this, this truck, even though it is a sleeper, a nice sleeper, and it's, it's got, like I said, the double bunk. Uh, let me show you everything else about it. It's cleaned up real good. It's double bunk. Let me show you. And then it got the two cabinets. And then, like I said, I'll let you look at it from here. And then, of course, it's got the always the, the cubby holes and all the different compartments and everything else that that the driver needs, something that he can put his cell phone up here if he needs to, or, or the way the radio is. This one has the CD player, and of course nobody uses CDs anymore. But in case they do, it has the auxiliary and the CD. <clears throat> a lot of, and it also has the USB too, so a lot of them like that with the USB. They can hook their phones up, charge it, and play, you know, if they have like Sirius XM in, in their car, they're able to play it in here too using the app. So it works out pretty good. The, um, like I said, all the overhead up 
apartments, or compartments, not apartments, compartments. Real nice. A little bit dark in here right now. But that, that will give you an idea of what we have. <clears throat>